Welcome back to DBL. Actor and comedian Rob Hubel is starring in a new explosive new comedy. It's dark, but it looks so good, called Spontaneous. I caught up with Rob earlier. We're all looking for new content. It's today's Chatting with the Stars. Rob Hewell, welcome to DVL. You're clairvoyant because a lot of what you're doing during this quarantine is about medical quarantining issues. Proud of you, buddy. Uh, but first, we have a viewer question. You starred in HBO's I Know This Much Is True with Mark Ruffalo, a.k.a. The Hulk, and I heard you gave Hulk a run for his money by eating 40 pounds of crab legs for one scene. Can you just talk to me about that crab intake? First of all, Tori, I think it's hilarious that I came on to promote one movie, but you switched it up I and I'm switched. promoting the HBO show. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, yeah, Ruffalo, I had to shoot a, a scene with Ruffalo, uh, AKA the Hulk um, in, uh, I know this much is true where I was eating crab legs and you know how shooting films works. You have to do it over and over yeah. and over. So yeah, I ate like four pounds of crab legs and I'm allergic to crab legs. <laughs> Terrible, I'm so sorry. Uh, as I was saying, you're clairvoyant and another example of art hitting close to home, your new dark comedy, Spontaneous, deals with a different, more explosive pandemic. When the hell are they gonna let us out of here? When they know it's not gonna happen again. Then what's gonna happen again? <laughs> It happened again a lot. What was that like? Uh, the satire, they spontaneously combust. Is that right, the teenagers? Yeah, uh, it's kids in a high school that start to spontaneously combust, which uh, was my worst fear growing sure. up. Like I was so worried that sure. I was gonna spontaneously combust. I don't know anyone that's, that's actually done no. that. So this is a, a dark comedy about that, super bloody, like so much blood, but then it becomes this really cool, smart love story e -T. and strangely you know we shot it a long time ago but it feels like yeah. a metaphor for what we're living through right right now and to be honest with you i watch a lot of like true crime netflix documentaries like dark dark stuff and i just really need a new comedy does that make sense to you like what is it like to have a distraction like that and what have you been watching on on netflix is it like me dark yeah, you sound like my wife. My wife um, makes me watch so much true crime yeah. stuff, like murder, murder, yeah, murder, yeah, murder. murder. Yeah. So this I am so psyched about um, because I feel like people are hungry for comedy yeah. right now. And this one is like, uh, it's already got this momentum behind it because it was a book. I didn't even know that it was a book uh, because I don't read books. <laughs> no, famously, I read the internet, You Tori. don't read, that's right. You can't read, that's right. We all know that's the big thing about you. <laughs> I don't know how to read. Let me ask you a question. How much improv was involved? Uh, as you know, you and I both love improv, but was it mostly scripted and did you like the writing? Like what got you on board with kids spontaneously combusting? That's not an easy pitch. Yeah, well, for me, I was like, how in the world are they going to do this movie? You know, I read the script and I was like, what? There's no way they can't make this movie. That's amazing. Now, I just wanted to know about your first, because it does deal with high school romance, am I right? I just wonder if you could paint a picture of your first high school romance. No names. We don't need names. But how was uh, that? Was it good? Was there a prom? Yeah, it was it was terrible. I was super awkward in high school, which, as you know, uh, is why people get into comedy. And I'm so uncomfortable uh, with myself that I just continued to try more and more comedy. <laughs> and I just got lucky that eventually I was able to make a living doing this uh, and 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 do some 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 smart, cool movies and TV shows, so I, I just got lucky. It has been a total honor to talk with you. I've always looked up to you, so it's lovely to chat with you. Thanks for stopping by DVL, and we'll be right back.